Lateral trunk bending is characterized by a significant leaning of the torso toward the prosthetic side. This deviation occurs at mid-stance and is best viewed in the coronal plane. Lateral trunk bending can occur when the prosthetic foot is excessively outset. In this case, the individual leans to place more of his body weight closer to the support point of the ischium, placing less demand on the gluteus medius in controlling the pelvis. At the same time, the compensation reduces pressure on the lateral distal femur. Insufficient length of the prosthesis may also cause the individual to lean toward the prosthetic side. If the socket is AB ducted, often in conjunction with a residual limb which is relatively short, lateral trunk bending may occur. In this scenario, the individual attempts to avoid pressure on the lateral distal femur. A longer residual femur allows pressure to be borne over a greater surface area, which results in decreased pressure over the distal residual femur. Lateral trunk bending may also be an antalgic or pain alleviating gait mechanism from a bone spur on the distal lateral femur. With this condition, significant modification to the socket may be required, surgery may be indicated, and freedom from pain may not always be possible. An individual with weakened hip abductors may also display lateral trunk bending. In this condition, the individual is not initially able to control pelvic tilt in stance phase. Exercise and physical therapy may often improve the outcome.